Windows 11 has many great features, but one of the biggest drawbacks is that more and more you have ads showing up. Here are a number of steps you can do to eliminate most, if not all, of the ads. Let's start with the lock screen, since this is usually the first thing presented to you. To turn these off, click on Start, then the Settings gear wheel. On the left-hand side, select Personalization, and on the right, Lock Screen. Here you'll see an option for Personalize Your Lock Screen. By default, this will be set to Windows Spotlight. When set to this, you cannot turn off the ads. To turn them off, you need to change this to Picture or Slideshow. And then you'll see a checkbox for Get Fun Facts, Tips, Tricks, and More on your lock screen. Clear this checkbox and you'll turn them off. Microsoft will also place ads in the form of pinned applications in the Start menu. Even though these apps aren't technically installed on your computer, simply being in your Start menu increases the chances that you may click on one of them and install them. Typical apps you might see are Adobe Express, Prime Video, TikTok, Instagram, Spotify, and others. To remove these, simply right-click on any of them and select Uninstall. Unfortunately, you'll need to do this for every extra app or ad in your Start menu that you don't want. Next, let's tackle ads in your search results. As before, click on the Start button and select the Settings gear wheel. Next, click on Privacy and Security. From here, you want to scroll down until you see Search Permissions. Go ahead and click on this. Scroll down to the More Settings section. Under here, you should see Search Highlights and a switch under that for See Content Suggestions in the search box and in Search Home. Turn this option off. Widgets are another good place where you'll find ads since Microsoft uses this feature to promote online content that also sells ads and forces you to use Edge and Bing. Although you can't completely disable this feature, you can remove it from the taskbar. Again, click on the Start button and select Settings. Now click on Personalization. Scroll down until you see the section for Toolbar under Taskbar Items. Turn off the toggle switch for widgets. This will hide the widgets from your taskbar. Alternatively, if you still want to see the widgets, but limit what information they have to try and serve you ads, you can open the widgets from the taskbar or by clicking the Windows key and W, and once in it, click on the icon for the logged in person, a circle in the upper right hand corner, and select Log Out. This will prevent the widgets from knowing any information on you to serve you personalized ads. The File Explorer is another place where you may see ads in the form of promotions and other services such as Microsoft OneDrive. To turn this off, do the following. Open up your File Explorer. On the top menu bar, click on the three dots and select Options. Once in Options, click on the Middle or View tab. Now scroll down to the Show Sync Provider Notifications option or checkbox. Clear the checkbox. Now you should no longer see ads under the address bar of the File Explorer. Next, we have the section on device usage. This is a feature that allows you to say how you plan to use your computer, enable the system to show personalized ads and other information. By default, Windows will have tried to have you configure these settings when you originally set up the computer or logged in for the first time. Let's go and turn off any of these that have been turned on. Again, click on the Start button and go to Settings. Next, click on Personalizations, scroll down and click on the section on Device Usage on the right hand side. Now, under Device Usage, you want to turn off every option to prevent personalized ads and recommendations. This includes sections on Gaming, Family, Creativity, School, Entertainment, and Business. This should hide those tailored ads based on your device usage. Windows 11 has an extensive notification system, and this can also push what are called toast notifications with tips and tricks and, of course, ads. The last thing you want are these random selections and attempts to sell you something, so let's turn those off for you too. Click on the Start button and select Settings. This time we're going into System. From here, select Notifications on the right hand side. Next, scroll down until you see Additional Settings and click on it. You want to clear the checkboxes under Additional Settings. Depending on which version of Windows 11 you're running, you may see two or three boxes. Simply clear all of them that are there. And we're still not done. Let's make sure we're not getting suggested content in the Settings app next. As always, click on the Start button and go into Settings. On the left-hand side, click on Privacy and Security. On the right-hand side, click on General. Look for the toggle switch for Show Me Suggested Content in the Settings app. 
and turn it off. While you're here, you may want to turn off the option for let apps show me personalized ads using my advertising ID. Now, this won't stop ads, but when apps are downloaded from the Microsoft Store, they won't be tailored using your personalized ID. And our last section, turn off the ads from diagnostic data. Click on the Start button, of course, and select Settings. Big surprise there. Click on Privacy and Security. On the right-hand side, you want to click on Diagnostics and Feedback. Next, you want to click on Tailored Experiences. Here you'll find a toggle for letting Microsoft use your diagnostic data. You want to turn this off. Now, I know that this has been quite a number of steps, and unfortunately, it's no guarantee that you won't see any ads, but this should significantly cut down on the number of ads you do see, as well as prevent a lot of your activity on the machine from being passed up the chain for Microsoft and other third-party advertisers to see. That'll be all, my friends. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. And remember, stay grumpy.